Hi, I'm Ben from benreeve.co.uk. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to use a Google Map in your travel blog. Fantastic visual tool for showing your readers around your articles, um, setting up for a specific post uh, and embedding into your WordPress site. So I've got a live example here uh, of a trip we took to the Seychelles um, and lots of different posts here about different places we went. The great thing is it's really visual but you can also click and it will link straight through to my articles. So a really visual way of showing the content that you've got. I've got the same content just down here, but really good to see it on a map. Now, if you haven't got time to watch the video today, I've got a really good ebook on my site. It's free to download, 16 pages that will show you through exactly the same thing. Uh, the link is in the notes below the video, so feel free to link through. So let's crack on. So let's go to Google Maps to start with. A uh, pretty good place to start, I'm sure you agree. Um, open up the menu at the side here and go to your places. Now, what you'll need to do is go over to maps here on the right hand side. You'll see I've got a number of maps already set up, but let's just create a new one. So this is gonna give you a brand new blank map that you can start playing with. Now the first thing I'd do is just give this map a title so you can remember it. Let's call this one Seychelles. We're trying to emulate it. You can add a description in here if you want to. Um, the next thing I do is just add in a few layers. So Google gives you layers that you can add specific places into. Um, unfortunately, you're only allowed 10 places per layer, but it does make it quite a quite nice way to kind of split down the map. So let's just add in um, a couple of layers in here and let's just get those renamed. So we're gonna rename the top one accommodation. We'll rename the next one restaurants. And we'll rename the bottom one, things to do. So now you're kind of broadly set up and ready to go here. You can have a play around with the base map if you want, which will change the, the colors here. Um, but let's just stick with the default to start with. So let's go ahead and add some places in. So what I'm gonna be creating here is links to articles I've already written. So places I've already uh, written about and I wanna link them into this map. So let's start at the very top here. I've got an article here on Valle de May, a really lovely UNESCO site on Prasden Island in Seychelles. So let's just type it in here. Now, a lot of places will already have um, a link. So Valle de May Lake Reserve, perfect. So here it is. So on Praslin Island here, exactly the place I want. So great, I want to add it into my map. Now, I need to be careful here to add it into the right layer. I want it in my things to do layer. And if I click on add to map here, that's in my map straight away, ready to go. Now the beautiful bit begins to start. This is how you can customize the map and make it useful for you. So what you'll see is Google already adds in information about this map. So it might be the business owner owns it and it links back to the business site. But what you can do for your map is customize that. So if you uh, remove from here the information, I go across here and if I open up my Valle de May blog post, I'm gonna copy uh, the link from there and what I'm going to do is come back in here hit the edit button and add it in so now anybody that comes onto this map is then going to see my link in here what you can also do is then have a play around with different ways of making this icon stand out so if you hit this paint button here um, so I want them to be stars and I want them to be red that'll make it stand out so really really simple way so let's add in a restaurant now. So um, there's a place called Coco Rouge that we've visited, really nice uh, little Creole food place in Seychelles. So that's it there. So you'll see with Coco Rouge here, they've already got a website, Coco Rouge Seychelles. Um, so again, we're gonna add that in. So again, remembering that we need to add it into a different tab. Let's click onto the restaurants tab and let's add it to the map here. So Coco Rouge has gone in there. So exactly the same process as before. We're gonna remove the existing information We'll go back to the original Seychelles site. We'll come down here, go to Coco Rouge. Comes up at the top here, this is my link. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna edit it and pop it straight in here. And again, this is a restaurant, so I want it to stand out. I want it to be a bit different. So let's give it a food and drink sign. Let's make it green. Um, and that's then really nice and custom. And you can see already you're starting to build up a really, really great map. So I'm not gonna walk you through all of them. Um, I'll show you the finished product in a minute, but let's show you how you then go about embedding this on your WordPress site. 
So the first thing you need to do is set the default view. Um, and this is the view that will be automatically set up for your map. So you can have it at kind of anywhere you want, any place you want, but you want it that's gonna kind of incorporate all of the places that you've been to visit. So take it out to somewhere you're happy, go into the top here and just click set default view. You'll see when it's done because it says all changes um, saved to the drive and your current view has been saved as the default for this map. That means that any user that comes into this now, depending on how their screen resolution is set up, will come in and see it then. The next thing you need to do is embed it on your site. Now that looks like it's really easy. You hit embed on your site, but currently you haven't set this map to public view. So the first thing you need to do is make it shareable. So currently this is visible to you and you only. It's private. Um, and what you need to do is change this and make it public. So anybody on the web can now view this map. Save it, and then you're done. And then you can embed this. So I'm gonna to go to embed on your site. So if you go embed on your site, you're gonna have all this iframe code in here. Just copy that code and click OK. Now in this tab here, what I've got is a new WordPress uh, post ready to go. Um, so I'm just gonna start it off with a title, our map of Seychelles. So this is really, really simple to do. Um, in order to insert the iframe, you need to go to this text tab here, just tab down one and add that in there. Now when you come back, your map is now saved in there. Now you'll see it looks slightly odd. It's not necessarily a default view we set up. Um, it depends slightly on the resolution and kind of how far in and out you are, but it can, it can get a bit confusing, but just play around with it and you'll get there. So just to show you what my original map looked like, so if I go back into my maps that were available and click through into my Seychelles map, you'll see here, um, if I open this in my maps, this was what the original map ended up looking like. So where we stayed, all the different places we went to, um, really, really simple to set up, but really, really powerful um, for the people on your site. Um, and again, just one last time showing you what the finished product uh, looks like. Um, so you kind of can bring it into here, and what's really, really great, as I said, a, customer, a reader to your site sees Curious Island, they see your information in it, and it redirects you straight in to that link on Curious Island, so absolutely fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you have done, then give me a like. Remember, if you want to download this so you can kind of look through it at, at a different time, then I've got this PDF that's available on my site, uh, so feel free to head over and download. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, and happy travels.